Hi, I'm Michael Dorrington-Smith, the course designer here for the launch unit Moving Horse Trials. We're going to do a quick spin around the track. So, fences one, two, three and four are really just to get the horses up in the air and give the riders the opportunity to get the horses in a shape and, you know, sort of feeling confident, settled into a rhythm and feeling in a good way. Now, fences two and three are both MIM fences, MIM clips, and so if just this is frangible mechanism, it's device, safety device in the sport. So then to the new field, the fourth fence, big table, jump that. These are all pretty straightforward fences. As they then head on to the first combination on the course. This is needs paying attention to. You jump a left-hand brush corner, there are four curving strides to a brush oxa, and then another four curving strides to another left-hand brush corner. And the first two elements are pretty straightforward. It's all about how you jump this oxa before you come to the last element. Don't ride the line right, every chance of a run out. On then to the crater. Two efforts, the house going in, the run down. It's all about the line coming out. Not a difficult fence, particularly, again, keep the horses jumping. It is five stars, so there are fewer let up fences on this particular course. Bit of a gallop then still in this field, looping them back, trying very keen to keep the flow and the rhythm. As they then come to 7ABC as a big spread, and then two right-hand corners. Again, MIMS, MIM clips, so frangible fences, big corners on a curving three strides. Might see some doing it on four, but it's there for a moving three, and should unfold nicely. Straightforward fence to follow after the intensity of this. They've got the bird's nest through the trees, come out, over. This is a big fence, it's deceptive, there's a bit of a drop on it, but it's pretty straightforward. And then a nice gallop to the big ditch and brush, favourite here, again, run and jump fence. These fences, when I mentioned it, I mean, they're, they're still be, to be finished off. Um, I mean, they'll, they'll be finished off now. So on then to the hollow. Been here for a bit. Rails, min rails in, one stride and then one stride to the narrow flower box. Again, got to hold the line, got to be confident, got to jump straight. It's a rider question. Nice long gallop then before we hit, come back to really a series of fences um, in this, this next field. Uh, a MIM table, big maximum spread, straightforward for the level. Left-handed then to another big table before they then come on to the Lemure water. Various options here, big fence in with a drop, that's the tree trunk there with the brush on the top, and then moving three strides to these offset brushes with one stride in between. This is all about the line and riding and honesty on the part of the horse. There is a long route for anybody who's not feeling too confident about that. Then to the Porsche Vallenbahn, this old favourite, jumping the star, then fence, three moving strides up the step. You've got to have a bit of pace to come up the step. And then, it'll be interesting to see how the guys, I set it on four, what I hope is going to be four, to this narrow brush at the top of the slope. This would be very easy to have a run out at. And again, this is a question for honesty and confidence of the horse. There is a long route again, for those who, who maybe aren't feeling too, too much on the game. Through the trees, great ride through here. Come back out, now there's a lot of spectators here. Jump the mill house, this is a favorite, this is the Mesmer water. And then, Got a MIM rails going in, everybody has to jump this. And then there's a bounce on the island of two roll tops, two cottages. These are numbered separately, so 17A this is MIM rail. Then the first here is 17B, so you can jump the right hand side and loop round if you don't fancy jumping the bounce. Otherwise, the second other bounce is 18A and the triple brush is 18B. So it's a, an athletic question. Horses need to be brave, need to be confident. The riders need to ride well. It would be an influential fence. Plenty of atmosphere around there. Nice straightforward fence to follow after the intensity of the Mesmer water. Jump a big table. And then they're heading in towards the main arena field. Again, another part of the course that's fairly intense. Bit of atmosphere. Jump the right-hand corner, which the four stars jump. Then into the arena. Now, Spinning them around right-handed this time, big table at the top, and then they go right-handed and they jump these two angle brushes. The angles on this quite severe, quite fierce. 
and you need to move to them. They've got to use the corner. It all depends how you use the corner. There's one stride in there. And it's, it's a good rider fence. I mean, these guys at this level jump these fences very, very well generally. The hedge, the white rails, old favourite, another MIM fence, uh, safety mechanism. And then this new fence here. These two offset logs, there's two strides in there, it's about the line. And by this stage of the track, you know, I'd be disappointed if this didn't unfold nicely. They are numbered separately for anybody who wants to spend a bit of time. Then to the Longines Water. Big house at the top of the slope. Then go left-handed, jump the left-hand boat as we're looking at it. And then a curving four to the right to jump the boathouse coming out. At this stage, this is sort of the last real question on the course. Although there's still, still plenty of jumping still to do. Long gallop then through the trees, through the woods. Um, from the designer's point of view, it's not a place to put fences because it's out of the public eye, but we need to come through here to get the distance. And then we come back here and we've got four fences to go. We jump this table and we're back into sight of everybody, then jump the house. And then you can't go too fast here because you've got these two mimoxes on a curving three is the last but one be really infuriating to actually have one of these. Why I've got this here is to make sure the riders keep enough petrol in the tank for the back end of the track. And then this is the one they want to jump, the rosette, for the last fence. So hopefully that is it. The course is 6,335 metres long, time allowed is 11 minutes and 7 seconds. Good luck to everybody.